Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? It's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming, and we're back with some more LEGO City Undercover! Today, we've got Special Assignment 12, High Steel Construction Yard Free Play! That's right, the level's actually called High Steel, but it can be found on your map labeled as Construction Yard. We're gonna grab all of the collectibles, however, I do have a confession to make. I accidentally grabbed one of the police shield pieces in our story video, so the numbers are gonna be off on screen. However, our numbers that we've added on screen should be be right on so follow the quick links down below in the video description and that'll help you get to all of those awesome collectibles now uh yeah check it out we're gonna turn on our red bricks that we've collected so far and the hype is real as we are gonna get the 6x red brick in this level and uh yeah some of the more important ones that we suggest you turn on are obviously the stud multipliers the attract studs and uh, things like the super space crate and break and enter those are also great now make sure you've got old rex fury which can be found and uh, well we show you how to get him in our preparing for free play video and uh, we're ready to roll we're gonna go ahead and check out the construction yard as you can see there we do have that one police shield piece and that's it though we're gonna go ahead and collect all of the rest now as I already mentioned we do have some quick links down below in the video description and thank you Thumby for that helpful tip there but uh, we're gonna go ahead and load into special assignment 12 high steel and hopefully you're ready to get things rolling hey there was a little uh, cutscene there that I should have edited out what how'd that get in here hey I, I gotta say this is probably my favorite level as far as dialogue goes the uh the the characters in this level are pretty awesome now if you haven't figured it out already the main construction guy here that's telling us what to do he is kind of modeled after old arnold schwarzenegger and if you actually pay attention to his comments he actually references a ton of his movies jingle all the way the running man uh, lots of them <clears throat> so definitely check that out Speaking of checking it out, we got a space crate in the bottom right-hand corner. Uh, we went ahead and we pulled that in and out. We got the bricks needed for the color swapper, which we actually don't need as we do have the super color swapper gun. Color gun swapper brick. Yeah, one of those things on there. But uh, anyhow, we got the old Lego City Hero requirement at 92,000 after pulling open that old costume cabinet there as it gives us a ton of studs. But we already had the construction suit, but we'll go ahead and put it on anyways. And look at that. Get our hammer time on, and it opens up that power node over there where we're going to have to uh, shoot it with our green color swapper and uh, or color gun. The green color gun, that is. But if you need the swapper, if you don't have the super color gun red brick, go ahead and use it in the bottom right-hand corner there. Otherwise, go ahead and paint that red dot green and open the door, which, look at that, we've got ourselves a giant steamroller. We're going to go ahead and roll over our boss here as well as this red switch. You can see that switch has red on it. So we're going to go ahead and put some pressure on it. And look at that, it turns green. And look at that, there's the jingle all the way reference. But we're not going to go forward yet. We're actually going to hop out and double back and smash the first of five big, large bricks. They're kind of those dark mining bricks, those dark gray or black bricks. And there are five total. The first one's up top. Second one's actually going to be bottom left-hand corner of the lower area. Third one, upper right. Now you might have guessed it. The next two are in the other corners as well. So far right corner and far left corner. So woo to the who. We got all those in order there. And we'll collect that police shield piece. Now, however, that one is out of order. Notice it's only number one. However, we've got two in the game. And that's because we accidentally grabbed that one in story. But we show you where to get it. It's at the very end. And it will be labeled Quick Link uh, 4. Uh, P PSP4, that's right. So, uh, all right. So, I don't think you need to switch on over to the construction outfit, but you might because it is construction uh, feature here. The old sand mixer there pukes out a little bit of sand onto the wall there, and it drops some bricks that we build up into a switch, which elevates us up. And we are moving right along, and we're going to use our axe on this door across the way here. And inside, we find the red brick for the 6x multiplier now i actually thought you could turn them on in game nope you actually have to complete the level before you can turn them on so i found out that out the hard way and speaking of hard way i actually had to play this level five times in order to get this recording yes that's right as embarrassing as it is five times now this is all extra right here if you're in a hurry to get collectibles of course use those quick links but we're gonna grab all that studage there's a purple and a handful of blues and some gold and some silvers too so we'll take them 
Now, uh, basically, back to my five times. Now, the first time I played this, I actually got stuck. I, I totally forgot that you had to uh, do the old da -da 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 drill and get these four things. I, I, I just got confused, and it was all out of sync, and it was just terrible. And I was like, all right, I'm only like four minutes in. Let's just restart this. So I restarted. And I get through, and I get all the way uh, up to uh, the collectibles. In fact, I actually um, got the coffee breaks, which are coming up here in a minute. And, and I didn't want to get those yet. I wanted to get those in order so that the quick links weren't all broken up and everything. And so I started that over, so that was two. So the third time I get through here, and I get the coffee in the right order, I remember how to do all the level. Everything's good to go, except for I accidentally go down the chute at the end without getting the character token. So, or no, it's a vehicle token, actually. Or no... Is it? A, yeah. It's a vehicle token. All right. Uh, I just had to look at my notes there real quick. Anyhow, uh, so I, I missed it. So I had to start over again. So that was the third time. So the fourth time, I actually uh, got all the way to the end of the level, and there's this color swapper at the end, and I got stuck on it. I, I know. It's crazy. I'll point it out when I get there so you guys can avoid it. But um, So the fifth time, I actually made it through. This is my fifth time playing through. And, hey, perfect timing on my story as we have completed the ladder. And check it out. We've actually uh, got ourselves the next character token here. This one's easily missed as once you use the first grapple to get up top, you're going to need to put on your astronaut suit and use the old jetpack to get up to that handheld. And look at that. Inside that locker in the far left side, we're going to get our smash rooney on. And we actually collect that construction foreman character token. So thank you very much. Now we're going to go ahead and keep on keeping on with some of the story, but we're going to backtrack here in a second. So uh, if you have already got the coffee breaks, don't worry. We're going to get those. We're going to actually grab them right now. Once we slam that uh, in there to blow up the old silver bricks, we're going to drop back down and we're going to take major advantage of this coffee break. So uh, I don't know about you, but when I break, I break. That's right. So we're going to do that right now. And basically there are three points you need to run to. Two of them are in this lower middle area. The third one is actually uh, right up above us. You can see it right now. It's on the, uh, well, I guess technically it's the third floor because we're on floor one, then floor two would be next up, and then floor three would be on top of that. So anyhow, I, I do believe they refer to it as the second floor because we're kind of almost underground right now. If you think about it, we started a little bit higher and we kind of went down. So it's hard to explain, but uh, we'll get there. We're going to show you where it is right now. We're basically just going to keep on keeping on. Now, if you're using the quick links to get here, keep in mind that we did go up and get the dynamite and blow up the silver wall there to give us access to this far left side of the second level. And as soon as we get up to the third level, using the grapple, booyaka, show, we're going to take another quick little break. Mmm, coffee. All right, so that is officially two of our police crest pieces that have been obtained, despite it showing three. We'll show you where the other two are. Now, we fixed the elevator, and we've dropped back down, and now we're going to ride it on up, and now we've got some fire to put out here. We're going to use our extinguisher from our fireman's costume. And look at that. I missed with the first douse, but the second one put it out with the quickness. Now, we got to pull out that watering can, man, and now climb up the old vine to the third or, I guess, fourth floor. Uh-oh. Whoopsie-daisy. Watch that next step. It's a doozy. And, hey, check it out. Thumby's back with another recommendation. Usually when those recommendations recommendations pop up there's usually a minute or two in between collectibles so if you're in a hurry feel free to use those quick links down below speaking of down below once you get all the way to the far right side you actually have to drop down a ladder and smash a box which reveals a valve that will allow us to turn off the old poisonous gas so flip that wheel as you can hear Arnold down below saying use your strength I'm not sure what that reference is to but uh, he says something about I'll be back here in a minute too but uh, we're gonna smash open this door now when we go through it beware don't drop down through the chute. Come over to this far left corner and smash the box to get that roller. Now, that's one of the reasons why I had to replay one of my times earlier, and it was not fun. So make sure you grab that one before you drop down the chute, because there's no way to get back, as there is no way to get back to the other area either. So make sure it's all completed before going through that door. Now, uh, we're down below. we got to help this old pooch here. He's uh, needing a little snack a -rooney. so we're going to go ahead and smash the block next to him and then follow the path using our tracking ability that's right pull out your detective edition of chase mccain no n not david hasselhoff edition you notice that one? i don't know why he looks so much like david hasselhoff but that one version the first edition totally does and you don't want to hassle the Hoff. But uh, all right, we follow the old blue footprints all the way over to where the X marks the spot. And booyaka show, we got ourselves a bone. That's right, we got a bone to pick with you there, doggy. 
And we'll drop it right in his uh, bowl there. And look at that. He walks away. We get uh, access to the key. We're going to go ahead and slam the key in. Of course, spin to win. And inside that doorway is a switch that actually gives us access to this far left area where the super build is. Now, we uh, we actually have some super bricks we want to round up. You could use the scanner and find them all, but you could also just watch us and we'll show you where they all are. Now, uh, you probably just saw one float right through the screen there. It's actually up in the air. We need to use our construction suit and d -d 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 drill to get down inside here. You actually have to reveal the drill spot by doing the old uh, the jackhammer. Once you uh, get up close and personal, you can actually use the icon there and Booyaka Shout. You'll float up top and it gives you access to that first super brick. Next up, we got another d -d 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 drill spot in the far right. This one launches us up to another kind of construction format and he asks us to take care of all of these items here. And in fact, you can see it says smash all of the objects. But we're not going to do that all quite yet. We're actually going to come down here and we find a pallet with these oddly colored bricks on them. We'll go ahead and smash it down and rebuild them. And oh, to the yeah, look at that. We get the TT logo, which happens to be the first of three buildable objects in this area. So we'll make our way back up and get our drill on and finish up all of these bricks that are uh, needing to be smashed up here. Once you get them all completed, it actually kind of uh, gives us a cue to go back up to a super brick and use the ladder to go up to talk to the foreman. So there you go. There's the final one. There's our cue. There's our super brick. And we are out of here. Now, one of the times that I had to restart because of uh, an error of the game, not user error, but error of the game, I actually got stuck right there on that color swapper in the back. Once you fix this fuse panel, it activates that color swapper. And I jumped up on it trying to get over that fence. I thought, okay, I'm going to have to use the jetpack to get over this fence. So I'm going to jump up. And I got stuck. And it wouldn't, it like, literally would not let me down. So as it turns out, to get into this area, you can actually jump over the wall at any point right here just not at the fence area over by where that color gun swapper is now hopefully you use the swapper if not hopefully you've got the super color gun red brick turned on and if you do you can go ahead and blast that wall giving us the ability to climb up it and in the back right corner we're going to find a box that we can smash and build into the second of three objects in this area now truth be told there's another box in that left corner of that little cove that we just jumped into and that actually has a character token in it we're going to come back for that one we wanted to get all of these buildable pieces in order and look at that he just made a reference to the twin. Remember the twins, the movie? Yeah, see, this is pretty awesome. I got to give TT and Warner Brothers props. And speaking of Warner Brothers, thank you very much for hooking us up with a copy of this game as it's been a blast. And look at that. We've got the third police shield piece, which although it showed four and it showed being complete there, we still have one more to get. And we're going to get it. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's actually right in the bottom right-hand side of this area. We're actually going to use a digger machine to go ahead and dig up four spots, which the third one gives us a super brick. The fourth one gives you that uh, police shield piece, which is why we got it in the first one. It was kind of an accidental deal where I dug the same spot twice and it seemed to give me credit. So I thought maybe it was a glitch and maybe I'd get an extra super brick. No, nope, no such luck. It was just a police shield piece. Now, we're actually doubling back to the spot that we already referenced earlier in that back corner. We're going to find Will Miles. Now, I'm not sure what role he plays in this game. I don't really remember him being part of the story, but hey, they slam all sorts of characters in to make sure that we've got lots of different characters and abilities to use. And all right, speaking of using character abilities, we need to smash these mining bricks with our pickaxe. So switch on over to the mine edition of Chase McCain. And then we got to switch over to our police edition so we can use our tracking ability to follow this trail all the way over because I totally got a clue. And look at that. X marks the spot over here and oh, little secret stash spot, huh? All right. Well, we build it up and we got a little, oh, it's a little mini excavator. So hop on the little new found Soikle and use the icon indicator to go ahead and access this RC car. And so, yeah, we're going to go to the four different dig piles scattered throughout. Now, I'm not sure why, but I kind of do a little zigging and a zagging. You can see there's a pile up in the top right corner, but I went to the top left corner for some unknown reason. But we're going to go ahead and dig all these out. You can see in our notation down there, this one was obtained in story. So we're actually not going to get the police shield piece. And it already, uh, well, you already saw it. We already have all four of them. So 
Unless you use the quick link, I guess. If you use the quick link to get here, then you probably didn't see that. So we've got three down, which, as I already mentioned, it gives you that super brick. Now, another little helpful tip for you, too, is that pressing the X or A button, depending on which console you're using, is going to be the reverse. I don't know why they changed the controls on the RC cars. They made them totally different than all other vehicles that you drive in LEGO games. But, all right, you can see the blue stud there. That blue stud represents where that police shield piece is. So if you did not have it already, it should pop up with that shield. Last but not least we want to make sure that we grab this super brick before bowling on over to the old super build that's right bowling i don't know what bowling i guess we're not really bowling we're rolling that was the wrong word my bad but <laughs> we'll go ahead and make it up to this super build hopefully you guys already got all the collectibles and you already bounced out and you didn't see my mistake but uh we're gonna take a quick scan around the area and make sure that there is no more treasure to be found or super bricks i guess is what they really are but they're kind of like treasure right and we're going to go ahead and step up to the industrial crane, which takes 40,000. Now, we got way more than that. We found a handful of those big bricks, and those big ones give you 10,000. We have the 2x multiplier on for beating the story, so we got paid. In fact, we got the one floating. We got the one for digging. We got the one up top. So that's at least 30 or 60 with the multiplier on. And uh, I'm trying to think, where was the other one? Oh, we got the other one for completing the construction, uh, taking out all those things. So we actually ended up getting four. So hopefully you got 80,000. And, uh, and if you haven't completed the story yet, what are you doing? Go back and complete the story. But uh, all right, we've rolled all the way over in our super sweet crane here. We just got to make sure that we put these three different colored pipes into the right spots. And look at that, it's pretty easy. Just hover over them. It should change the icon. You can see here, it's kind of a, a square until you get into the right spot and then it turns into a green swinkle. Go ahead and press the icon indicated, and look at that. we got all three in place. Now we get to roll on out of here. That's right. And again, th this is not, it's not X to go backwards now. It's its L2 for me. It might be the uh, left bumper, depending on which, or I guess maybe the left trigger. I'm not sure how they do it on the Xbox One. I have not played this on the Xbox One. I'll have to check that out someday. Maybe, maybe not. But, uh, all right, open the door. That's right. We got one last little thing. He tells us uh, uh, basically that we got to roll out, and, uh, yeah, that, that's it. So we're going to go ahead and do that. That's right. Open the door. We are out of here. Was a quick cutscene. We removed it, though, and we're going to go ahead and take on the totals. You can see we've got the 6X red brick. We got three of the four in this video, but we showed you where all four were, so you're covered in that department. We also got all four of the tokens found, including the two vehicle and the two characters you can see we got oh the construction foreman oh the roller what was the other one we got to the foundation and of course will miles anybody know who will miles is if you know who will is drop me a comment down below and inform me and uh, we got the 92,000 studs required for that real city hero requirement, giving us the gold brick for that, as well as the police shield pieces. And you know what? Return to LEGO City means that's going to wrap it up for LEGO City Undercover Special Assignment 12 High Steel Construction Yard Free Play. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this, and if nothing else, you found it useful with all those collectible locations and quick links and things like that. And uh, oh to the yeah. So feel free to head on over to any of our social pages, which can actually be found down below in the video description. If you have not already, check out this Thumby Must See video. And of course, we've got HappyThumbsGaming.com, which is the home of our product and gaming reviews, as well as trophy achievement guides, including one for this one. So check it, check it out. As for me, that's going to do it. As always, until next time. Hey, I said until next time. Oh.